threatening to strike if the federal government fails to stop the implementation of the new scheme of service for polytechnics. The union argues that the scheme lacks input from key stakeholders and evades from a document developed since 2012. They also criticized the ongoing dichotomy between bachelor's degrees and higher national diplomas in job qualifications and appointments, which they believe is wrong in professional sectors. The National Board for Clinical Education, NDTE, released a document titled Scheme of Service for Polytechnics, which lacks inclusive stakeholder input, particularly our union and stakeholders in the polytechnic sector. Playing extensive presentations and engagement seen as an intentional move by the Office of the Head of Civil Service of the Federation and NDTE to sow discord within the polytechnic sector. The current document is opposed unless all points of contention are addressed. Importation and substantial learning qualifications such as the National Skills Qualifications called NSQ as obligatory prerequisites for the career advancement of academic staff within the polytechnic is deemed laughable. The NSQ lacks substantive value in enhancing the delivery of curricula at the tertiary level in polytechnics. We vehemently reject it. We reject its inclusion as a mandatory criterion for academic staff career advancement. The Polytechnic Staff Union opposed mandatory national skills qualification for academic staff career advancement, demanding a return to a nine-step structure and a three-year waiting period for each step in lecturer's career. There is a concern and inconsistency in entry point of graduate assistance with the MBTE document lowering the bar for bachelor degree holders while disadvantaging HMD holders, equivalent grade. Example, second class lower and lower credits should be required as graduate assistant level to ensure fairness. The splitting of the senior lecturer level into senior lecturer one and senior lecturer two will create unnecessary complexities and further lengthen the lecturer cadre structure. We demand a return to the status quo and a reduction of the lecturer cadre from a nine step to a seven step structure, with a minimum three year waiting period for progression between steps. The current document structure would necessitate a minimum of 26 years for a graduate assistant to reach the peak of their career, which is impractical and demotivating. The union demands the reversal of the unfair discrimination of the product of the same system that produces the document is biased against higher national diploma holders and their minds progress against this unacceptable practice. The techniques should not discriminate against their graduates. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.